My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. This color, I'm a sucker for this blue and this is the right shade of blue. This is just gorgeous. It has the white stripe down the side. You don't even feel it. In 2008, Tubby's Customs down in Florida, they rebuild hot rods, did a body off frame rotisserie restoration. We have a few pictures of the restoration and have uh, some receipts from them. Uh, it has a 454 vintage air conditioning, uh, some Hotchkiss suspension parts, great sounding exhaust, uh, all sorts of good stuff going for it. You can go to volocars.com and that's where you can read the information, look at pictures top to bottom, and that's where you find the price tag on every one of the cars we have for sale along with the monthly finance option. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe, click on the bell icon, that way you're notified when we post the next one. For right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, body off frame rotisserie restoration in 08. It's had about 8,000 miles put on it since then. So it's still a really nice car. It's not a brand new restoration, uh, or it's not a $100,000 car, but it's got a lot going for it. For one, the looks, that's just killer. I just, ugh, it's awesome. But anyway, body was off the frame. They put it on a rotisserie. Uh, they repaired whatever they needed to. It's all metal. They put an undercoat on there to seal it. Uh, up front, it was completely rebuilt. All the ball joints, suspension, bushing, springs, shocks, steering, you name it. And it has a larger Hotchkiss sway bar. In back, it's upgraded with the tubular uh, upper and lower control arms and a sway bar as well. Uh, the brake system was redone, it has disc in front, drum in back. I did notice the e-brake cables are not there, so it does not have the e-brake. Um, dual exhaust system, looks like two and a half inch with a crossover pipe. You'll hear how it sounds towards the end of the video. Flowmaster mufflers. And I like how they did the downturn tip. So everything is tucked up under there and they just turned down real nicely. Uh, fuel system was replaced. Uh, looking up at the motor, it's a nice clean motor, chrome oil pan, chrome uh, mini high torque starter. The transmission was recently rebuilt. Well, in 2019, that was rebuilt. It's a 700 R4. I have the receipt for it. It was just under three grand, so it was a complete rebuild. Uh, and in back, it has a 12 bolt rear end, uh, Richmond 410 uh, gears in there, ring and pinion, the bearings, the seals were replaced. Uh, it has a Mosier aluminum uh, cover on the rear end. So that 410, that's a gear that'll snap off the line, but with the overdrive, it's also a nice cruiser. So underneath the car has some good stuff and it's all in good, good condition. Uh, the body, uh, it appears fantastic. You look at it, it's dynamite, but let's check it out. The roof is all real nice and straight. There's a little bit of dimpling or bubbling right here. Uh, this is where the factory seam is at. That can be a problem area sometimes. Here's a hairline crack. It literally looks like a hair laying there. Uh, this is all looking good and straight. You know, straight and it fits nice, so your impression is good, but there are going to be some imperfections. The trunk lid, yeah, is fantastic. Uh, absolutely straight. This is all nice, clean. No bubbles down here. It's all real nice. That door fits real nice and square. Uh, there are no issues on this side. That's all nice and clean. This is all looking good and fitting good. Uh, some little rock chips down here, but I'm looking at the body right now. It has the SS hood. Little imperfection right there coming through. Maybe a little body work or something that's showing there. All nice and square. There's a chip in the paint right here, straight. Here's a chip. The hood sits down a little low right here. I'm sure that's a pretty easy adjustment, get the hood to come up. Uh, this is nice and straight. The fender is clean, the door is clean. 
Down here is real nice. Ah, I knew I seen bubbles somewhere. Couple bumps right down here in the lower corner of the door, so there might be a little repair work there uh, from what, 15 years ago. It's just starting to show. So the body presents itself really well. Again, the color is amazing. This isn't just your factory Le Mans blue. This is some custom color. I think it looks great. And again, the stripes painted on, not a sticker, and it's smooth to the touch. But the metal flake is laid out evenly. It's polished like glass. So when you walk up, it's like, wow. But if you own the car or you're waxing the car, you're going to pick up little flaws here or there. Uh, it has the blacked out SS panel. Tail lights, trim, bumper, emblems, all that was replaced in 08. It still looks really nice. Uh, the rear window was replaced. That's crystal clear. The moldings are polished. The marker lights look new. Rain gutters, I'm sure, were replaced, as well as the door handles, the mirrors, the trim around the windshield, the glass. It's all been replaced. These have been replaced. Up front here, the emblem, the bumper, uh, looks great. They got a little chin spoiler down there, just notice that. The grill is in good shape. There's a little rock dent right there, and there's a little tarnish. It's like an anodized trim. So that I'm going to call good, not excellent. The wheels, they're uh, torque thrust, uh, American racing wheels, Toyo uh, tires, performance tires. I'm guessing they're 17 inch. Yes, they are. They could be polished better. If you spend an afternoon and really polish those babies up, uh, boy, they'll just really pop on this car. A couple more imperfections in the paint right here. You know, like I said, I walked around, didn't notice stuff like this. When you look for it, you find some things. Uh, the rear wheels look to be a little bigger. Yeah, they're 18 inch, so 17s and 18s. They're staggered uh, size wheels. Now let's open it up. Let's see what she's got under the hood and inside. All right, let's check out the trunk. Under the trunk lid is painted smooth and glossy and the hardware looks nice. The jam is painted nice. Weather strip looks real good. It is solid metal. They made sure that when they restored the car, someone put this carpet in there. They did a good job. Uh, and then we've got a big old subwoofer box here, the JL subwoofer. There might be some more amps or components behind that. I'm not sure. That's got to look. I like the stance, the wheels, the color, the stripe. This thing's got to look. No vinyl top. So the door jams are real respectable. They're painted up nice. Weather strips were replaced. Front door panels, uh, armrests, they look like they're new. It's got a custom instrument panel uh, with a full set of sport comp autometer gauges. Yeah, it has 8,066 miles. That's since it was restored. The heater control panel looks like it's been replaced. Uh, modern stereo, the dash pad, all this is good. There's also some speakers in the kick panels. Carpets replaced, has Chevelle floor mats. Now it has the uh, staple shifter here in the center console. They did upgrade it with an overdrive uh, indicator, so it's correct for the trans. It has some carbon fiber type sticker. It's missing the rubber seals right here. Uh, it just looked a little nicer of a head because you can see right in there. Now the seats, they've been custom uh, re-cushioned re and custom upholstered. This is that uh, suede, genuine uh, suede inserts in the seats and on the headrest. The back seat is done to match. Uh, looks like it does have seat belts for everyone. The rear door panels have the suede and the upper portion. Headliner's been replaced. There's some little wrinkles on the sail panels where the glue might be coming undone a little. The headliner itself is tight. Dome light works. Visors are excellent. Uh, it has a hidden antenna right here instead of having a, an antenna out on the car. 
The SS steering wheel's got a little crack. It's a little tired. I'd probably put a fancy steering wheel on there. Fix something cool. So this is a 454 motor. Yeah, they only had a 396 available in 69, so this is an upgrade. It has Edelbrock aluminum intake, a dual feed Holly carb hiding underneath there. And back, it's got an MSD uh, ignition system. The plug wires are run neatly. It's got a set of headers down there, nice dipstick, smooth firewall because it has the modern uh, AC and heat system, so it's all you know, much more efficient and compact. The engine bay was all painted blue when they restored the car. Uh, we've got aluminum radiator and shroud, stainless upper and lower hoses. We got power steering, we got power brakes. I just looked at our uh, ticket. This car went through the shop. We spent about six or 700 bucks. I think they fixed the wipers. They fixed uh, a door lock, uh, just some miscellaneous things. There was a couple grounds that they found. Uh, so it should be ready to go. I also noticed, looks like there's a transmission cooler up here too for that transmission. So there you have it. This one checks all the boxes, big block, overdrive, posi, air, power steering, power brakes. This is how you just get in and drive. You're going to turn heads anywhere you go. Um, this will go to any car show. It's going to get noticed. It might get people's choice awards. It's not a $100,000 uh, points winner type uh, restoration, but it's a, a head turning, cruise night quality. Uh, hot rod that you can enjoy driving. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman about your questions. They can help you finance this. They can help get it delivered to your door at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, click on the bell icon. You'll be first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.